Hello, uh, I have an update uh, for my previous video when I was describing my difficulties uh, to boot this Tektronix TD-784A oscilloscope. Finally, I found a problem and here you can see that the oscilloscope should be booting yes and here we are okay so the oscilloscope successfully booted which is great new and I'll just tell you what was the root cause of the problem. Here you can see this interconnection board, which is interconnect the main board with the acquisition board on the bottom. And what was wrong, the board was turned over 180 degrees. I don't know if I did it by mistake when uh, I bought the scope, I don't remember how it was installed, whether it was installed in this position or vice versa. Uh, definitely, you know, how I found it, uh, first I disconnect this board at all. And the uh, oscilloscope start to boot, just some blue screen, nothing more, but definitely it, it proved that uh, when I disconnected practically the interconnect between the main board and the acquisition board oscilloscope looked that he it's trying to boot and then i was checking this interconnection board and i just thought that the latching there is that it's not possible to swap it but this the orientation of these connectors is done that practically you can install the board both directions so i swap it i install it like this one tried to turn it on and it was successful so here we are I even run the SPC signal pass compensation routine it was successful so no need to change those relays on the acquisition board on these input hybrids everything uh, looks okay so that's good news the scope is up and running I will just uh, solve this remaining issue because this blank panel was uh, missing when I bought it. Practically, there is either blank panel or there is a, a Centronix and serial board ports installed, but this feature was missing. Blank is missing, so I'll just put there some blank panel and then I had to also fix this board a bit. You can see here that it's just temporary fixed by piece of paper, but I will find a way how to fix it. So it's good news. Scoop is up and running. Thank you.